Welcome back. All right, everyone talking about that 60 Minutes special, talking about Facebook. Let's bring in Mike Apple, see if he stayed awake. Good morning, Mike. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you doing this morning? Good, good. Did you watch? Uh, I'm just kind of catching the cursory notes of it. There you uh, go. Post. All good. There interview was a with this Facebook whistleblower, former uh, person who worked with the company internally related to um, uh, information security. Uh, Frances Haugen is her name. She uh, came public last evening on 60 Minutes ahead of testimony coming up tomorrow to the U.S. Senate and basically saying that uh, Facebook and its algorithms, you know, they, they can manipulate these things to see what comes into your feed. And after the uh, Biden presidency win, they kind of shut down some of the safeguards that were leading to all sorts of hate speech and misinformation and her accusation is that this basically led to the uh, Capitol Hill riots on January the 6th and basically accuses Facebook of putting profit ahead of public safety. So you add this to the recent revelations reported by The Wall Street Journal about uh, the health concerns that, uh, you know, Instagram has with uh, the mental health of teenagers. Uh, Facebook is saying, oh, they're being misrepresented in this, that, and the other thing. But you have to figure again, Melanie, with uh, uh, Ms. Haugen's testimony coming up tomorrow in uh, Washington, that is going to be another day with Facebook on the defensive. Wow, a lot to watch there. Uh, if you are mm -hmm. looking online and you see the term Pandora Papers trending, here's why. Mike, let's explain. Uh, this is a, uh, a treasure trove of secret information that has been uh, a uh, accumulated by uh, international journalists. Uh, remember back in 2016, it was the pa the uh, the Panama Papers, which uh, indicated all sorts of offshore accounts of the world's richest. In this case, it uh, focuses on world leaders, including uh, Jordan's King Abdullah, uh, Vladimir Putin of Russia, even UK uh, former Prime Minister uh, Tony Blair, and uh, indicates that uh, there are all sorts of behind the scenes wheeling and dealing on real estate, um, some of this we kind of expected, didn't we? But at the same time, others, uh, as again, more of the information comes out and the names to be revealed, uh, international uh, aid organizations are saying this is where the money's going instead of uh, helping, uh, you know, build hospitals or do what have you with uh, social welfare. So it's going to be interesting to see if, is, is there any follow, follow, fall out from this, Melanie? Uh, and you know, does do any of these real estate transactions actually looked into by the local governments or is it something that just kind of you know, shrug your shoulders at and say, well, yeah, again, uh, not, not a huge surprise, but a massive, uh, you know, information um, expose, I suppose, about uh, some of the world's elite. Absolutely. All right. Um, Tesla continues mm -hmm. to outperform. Yep. 241,000 vehicles delivered in the third quarter. That's a record. And, you know, we've talked about the computer chip shortage affecting some automakers, not others. Tesla seems to have its own supply. And the stock price, as a result, this morning up $20 pre-market. On Friday, uh, we saw the U.S. sales and Canadian numbers for companies like General Motors and Ford. And both of them down significantly year over year because they just do not have enough supply. And what did we hear over the summer? So many plants were offline, shut down on a temporary basis at the major automakers because of supply chain issues. Tesla, on the other hand, seems to be doing pretty well. Uh, Mike, finally for you, um, oil uh, on a yes. streak. I do not mean that with any sort of pun at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not slipping, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, up uh, for six weeks in a row, in fact. Oil north of $76 per barrel at U.S. this morning, Melanie. OPEC and Russia meeting today to talk production quotas. The big question is, do they increase uh, output to uh, capitalize on some of these higher prices or just let it ride? Uh, some analysts think that oil's next target is $100 per barrel. So you talk about, you know, oh, the, the shift away from fossil fuels, and that's fine longer term but in the short term we're going to be paying a lot more because of a lack of production and uh, again the longer term trend of shifting away from fossil fuels in the near term that's going to cause some pain likely at the gas pumps all right mike apple as always a pleasure we'll talk to you again tomorrow all right thank you thank you
618 is what we're sitting at right now. We know the restaurant industry having a pretty difficult time bouncing back during the pandemic, but that's not because they don't have the customers. Let's break down this report for you coming up next.